Hello and welcome back to Adventures in Pop-Ups. I'm Blake and this is Rachel and today we're going to talk about food prep and what do you do, how do you make it easier, quicker, simpler, less stressful. Less stressful we is like always better. Minimal stress is good. Less stress is always better especially when you're juggling kids and crazy pets. Yes. So thanks for joining us and prepare to learn some valuable lessons. Yes. What do you do when you go camping? What do you eat? Well, we figured out the hard way. I don't like starting a campfire for breakfast. Um, it's just too much work. It's delicious. The food is awesome. I like the hacks and I like to pre-make as much as I can. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we are bringing on the trip that we're about to be on to give you some ideas of what you might like to do. So, first of all, I freeze as much as possible because then we pretty much don't need any ice the whole trip. For instance, applesauce, frozen. And if it's not quite thawed all the way, it's like ice cream. Uh, juice boxes, not only does it work in the cooler, but then when we get to a campsite, I put it in the fridge to help the fridge cool down faster as well. And then you need it to thaw by breakfast anyway. Now, this is one of my favorite tricks. This is a vacuum seal bag. Um, we got an inexpensive vacuum sealer from Aldi and we just happen to have Ziploc bags, but they make a lot of brands. This is scrambled eggs. This has bacon, broccoli, and potato super scramble that I pre-made ahead of time and I froze it. Then when it's time for breakfast in the morning, I bring my pressure cooker because that's to me the easiest, fastest way to boil water. So I set up the pressure cooker. Um, it will trip a breaker. So I plug it in to the actual outlet outside to the short power. Put this in water. It, I set the lid on top, but it doesn't really close. I don't really care. I'm not actually bringing it to pressure. I just want it to boil. Boil this until it's hot. Cut the top off. Serve. Done. Easy. And something that I like to do also is when I made that, I made a lot of scrambled eggs. So we just had it for breakfast already. Then I froze a bunch of it. Chili. Same thing. By the way, it's called sous vide, is boiling in water, cooking boiling in water. Um, same thing. This fits in my eight quart pressure cooker. I set it in there. I get it boiling. I turn it upside down a couple times because it's going to be too tall. Once it's hot, cut the top off, serve your chili. And same thing. I made the chili. I made the whole eight quart of chili the pressure cooker is eight quarts I made the whole eight quarts and then froze the leftovers and if we have leftover chili when we're camping the next day I've already planned we're having chili dogs if we run out of chili I have ketchup this is not in a vacuum seal bag I just stuck it in a ziploc because I don't plan to cook it in water this is frozen drumsticks chicken drumsticks Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan Garlic. I put it in the bag with the chicken when it's freezing, and then I, I lay it flat so that it frees in a nice brick. What I usually do is I take good old Italian dressing. This one's from Aldi. I take the lid off and I put a little bit of sugar. You know, there's only a little bit of room in there. I put a little bit of sugar, I shake it up, and then I freeze that in with the chicken drumsticks or whatever kind of chicken you're having. And then it's marinating while it's freezing. It's marinating while it's thawing. It is so good. That has been our favorite meal. Multiple camping trips is Italian chicken. It's so good. Um, these kinds of things I like to just have in the camper as a backup meal. If for some reason something goes wrong, we ate all the food, probably not gonna happen. I, I go overboard. I just, I feel good having a safe backup. You just add water, boil, there you go. This is my camping meal plan so that I can write down. And I just put 
breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Then I've got a list of snacks, list of drinks. Uh, it's right on the back of my pop-up camper packing list, which I took off of Pinterest. I will put a link. I love this thing. I have some stuff permanently marked off on the paper and then other things off, I use dry erase and I just dry erase marker, check it off. That way next camping trip, start over. And um, whoever made this has thought of a lot of things that I might've otherwise forgotten if I hadn't used the list. I see this all the time on the Facebook group lists. They say, I don't know. What did you guys forget on your first camping trip? I want to make sure I didn't forget everything. Someone's already thought of that. There you go. Which by the way, I added dog stuff. They didn't, this person didn't have dog stuff on. It's okay. Along with the camping meals, I've got snacks and drinks. I'm just going to read off to you what our family likes in case you're looking for ideas. Chex Mix, popcorn, carrots, fruits and vegetables with ranch, s'mores, of course. You can't, you just can't go without s'mores. You can't. One time we tried campfire cones. It was, it was good, but we wished we had s'mores, honestly. Drinks, juice boxes, Capri Sun, water. We do water, very easy. Coffee. This is our solution to coffee. Um, this is a really nice coffee press. It is a double wall. It stays hot for a long time. So we boil water usually inside on the stove top. You can tell it's been on a campfire though. And then you stick your coffee grounds. This is my lovely coffee grounds that I just keep using. Um, you put the coffee grounds in, you put the boiling water in, you let it steep, and then you press, press the grounds out. The first couple times we went camping, we had, we already had one that was glass and it was cheap and the kids helped with dishes. Hallelujah. It but it broke. This thing is great. And I love the color. I'm just going to read off what we're about to be eating on our trip to give you some ideas. So breakfast, we're hitting the road in the morning. We're having, I call it on the go. We're having granola bars, a pre-made cup of yogurt juice boxes. When we get there, I'm going to set up camp and then I'm boiling the chili. Matter of fact, I may boil the chili while we're setting up camp. And then we've got cheese and sour cream. For dinner, we're having the, I wrote down Italian chicken. It is Parmesan garlic chicken drumsticks, pasta salad, veggie foil packs. Next day, super scramble sous vide, which means in the boiling water, good to go lunch we're doing wraps if you don't like squished bread go for the tortillas we're having wraps chips fruit cups dinner chili dog next day banana oat waffles that is a really good recipe it is gluten free it is dairy free we are not necessarily gluten or dairy free but they're delicious and it uses oats which i like so they are banana oat waffles that I've pre-made and frozen. We're just going to warm them up and probably going to put honey and or peanut butter on it because I'd rather not do syrup. Lunch, PBJs. Uh, dinner, that's the day we're driving home, so it's probably going to be something easy at home. So there's what we do. There's some of our tips and tricks, some of the things we've learned along the way. More prep ahead of time means more fun while you're camping also means less crabby people because breakfast is a hard time for us we want our coffee we don't want to stand around and wonder why the campfire is still not going and we're all hungry also lots of snacks I go a little snack crazy because I've been on trips before when we were a little skimpy on the snacks Never again. We'll probably come back home with another day's worth of snacks. So my top advice, the more you can do ahead of time and freeze, the less work you have to do while you're camping. You can do stuff in vacuum seal and then heat it in boiling water. You can pre-make muffins and waffles and freeze them to make them last longer. That way, anytime it's a good day, you just make them and freeze them or make a double batch and freeze half and don't even tell anybody that it's in there because you know it's going to disappear. 
freeze things like juice boxes so that they become ice cubes and then they can just thaw over the course of a day or two and then you're ready to drink them and you didn't have to pack any ice. Have a backup meal plan that's just canned or freeze dried just in case you know you're not gonna run out. We like to use a water filter even though the camp ranger may tell you it's potable water, it's drinkable water. This is really easy to just keep refilling it, keep it in the fridge or even just keep it out and you don't have to worry about packing enough water. We'll bring a couple of gallons of store-bought water but it's good to just have a filter pitcher on hand. I hope you enjoyed our video. I would love and appreciate if you would drop us a comment, let us know your ideas, give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more, and tell your other camping friends. I know that we are a good community and I've met so many great campers both online and on trips. And I've learned a lot from other people. So I hope you've learned some from me. I'd like to learn from you and let's continue on our adventure together. Adventures in pop-ups.